Hello, Julie here and thank you for joining me here today. Today I'm going to be making a trellis card. So sit back, relax. It's not a very long video, not as long as some, but um, I hope you enjoy it and give me a thumbs up if you do. So I've got some half inch strips here. I've got six half inch strips that are five and a quarter inches long. So five and a quarter by half an inch. It looks slightly wider than half an inch to me. So I better check that one. Right, no, that, that one will be alright. I'll use that at the back. And then I have got uh, five strips that are half an inch by ten and a half inches. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to line these up on here so that they're spread out over a five, a five and a quarter inch width and I'm going to line them up along the bottom here I hope you can see that Two, three, four, five, and put that one there. Actually, yeah, I'll put it there, and then I'll spread these out in between. Right, so now this should fit across there. So using a little bit of glue, I'm just going to put a little dab on each one of those, make sure they stay in place. Okay. Line them back up, trying to keep them straight and level. We'll put one of these across there. Now I'm going to do the same thing for the other end. Right out to the edge. So I'm just going to turn that around. And do the same here. Try and make sure they're all lined up. And this is going to be the back. So I'm going to use this slightly wider strip that I had cut in here. So, looks a bit weird for a card, doesn't it? But what we're going to do now is we're going to add some of these across here. So, we can do one of two things. We can lay them on top like so, or we can weave them through. Let's 
which we might weave them through for something a bit different. Okay, so line, line that up so it's straight and then move this down. Okay, so we're going to line this up perfectly along that line and put a little glue there on here Try this again. Okay, so now line that one up. This one goes under first, over, under, over, under. And then we're going to line that up there and then line this up here. So, what have I got there? Just about one. So about like that and bring that in so that it is square so the glue This is going to be our card base. So now, um, I can see that that's slightly over there, so I'm going to trim that off. Okay. Right. I'm going to get my scoreboard and then I'll be right back. Okay, so now I'm going to score this at five and a quarter. Okay. And now we're going to fold this over. sure it lines up perfectly and use our bone folder so there's our card base now I am going to cut a piece of cardstock uh, how, how deep is that I'm going to cut it three and a quarter inches by five and a quarter so 
three and a quarter. Oh, five and a quarter. I'm pretty sure it is already five and a quarter. And then this piece is going to be the inside back of our card where we can write our message and do that sort of thing. So when this card is closed, it will be like that. And we will decorate the front. Okay, so I will attach this. Actually, I'll attach it to the two sides first and along the bottom. Perfectly along there. Just going to pop a little bit of glue behind each one of these just for stability. Okay, so that card is going to have no trouble holding itself up. Now I've used 300 GSM card to create this card base so I don't think you'd want to use anything thinner uh, because it does have to, I mean a lot of it's cut out so it needs a fairly uh, firm cardstock to hold its shape. Okay so that's the actual card base construction. Now I'm going to decorate it. So I'm going to have a fossick through and decide what I want to use to embellish the card and then when I've got that sorted out I'll come back to you. So I've used this honeybee stamp, it's called Coneflower Lovely Layers. Uh, it's not a stamp, it's a die and I've cut it from vellum. I've used this vellum for the flower and this is very very old vellum so I don't think it would still be available and I've got some of this plain light, light green that I've used for the leaves. Now I've already assembled two of the flowers but I thought I'd just show you how I did it, how I shaped them with the vellum. So I want the petals to come forward. All right, see how they're all bending towards the front of the flower. So I've turned it over to so that my right side is down and I'm just holding it and I'm just running my uh, palette knife but you could use your scissor blade or whatever you've got and just it just shapes it up a bit so I'm going to do that with all the layers there's four layers now depending on what flower you're using if you're using this cone flower just be careful because when you're doing this you can tear some of those petals off like this one for example. I did tear one of these off on one of my flowers but luckily enough I was able to um, stick it back in place so it didn't, wasn't obvious that it was. So once we've got that we just put a little dot of glue and then put the next layer on lining it up. Being vellum, we don't want too much glue on there because uh, we don't want it to show through. But this art glitter glue does dry very nicely. You can see, you know, you can't really see the glue in the middle of that. So that on there. And you can see the size of the glue I'm putting on there, not very much at all. Now it comes with two centres and I thought oh, I'll just add one but thought, well I've got them there why not use them so 
otherwise I'd just end up throwing them in the bin so they might as well go on here and I did contemplate um, using a different colour for the centre here and that's still a possibility but I thought that instead of using a different colour so you can see now you've got nice nice layers there so I thought instead of using a different colour once I've got these organised and set up on my card um, I might just use some Wink of Stella or something on that centre section to help it stand out now now I have to decide how to position these on my card base for the best effect. Now I'm going to do the same thing with the leaves. Just turn them over and curl them around a little bit. So they've got a little bit of a shape there. I don't know how many leaves I'm going to use. But I'll just do a few and see how I go. You can see it shapes pretty easy. It's like, uh, you know, the curling ribbon really, isn't it? Okay, now, um, the other thing that I have to take into consideration is that this, of course, is not solid. So if I open it out like that, I'll be able to see better where I've got the facilities to attach my flowers. So I've got to have somewhere on that white area to stick my glue. I think the best thing that I can do actually is stick my flowers down and I think I might sort of stick them like that. So we've got one up there a bit higher. There a little bit. And that will still leave me somewhere there to attach a sentiment. So I'm just going to run some glue on the cardstock there and then hold my flower there for a minute. I mean, the reason I chose vellum was because you're going to be able to see this from the back. So I wanted something that was, um, you know, pleasurable to look at on the back. I didn't want to have to, you know, back whatever I was putting on here with more paper or just wanted it to be nice to look at from both the back and the front. Okay, so there we go. So that's our flowers in place. So now I need to work out where I want to put some leaves. So I'll put one, I need to just tuck that under there a little bit more, perhaps trim the leaf. No, that's all right, that will fit. So perhaps one under there. Um, I don't really know how many leaves I want to include either, so that's another thing. I'll put a couple there, like so. Perhaps if I put three lots of two, something like that. Tuck that one in under that. Perhaps just maybe do I want two here or just the one? I'll have to trim that off if I put one there. So how does that look from the back? Yeah, that looks alright. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to just lift that up and poke a little bit of glue in there and put my leaf in there. And then with this leaf, I'm going to put a little bit of glue on top of that leaf and then tuck that one on top of it and then push it all down. And let that grip a little bit. Okay, so there we go. Now this one. 
So I'm going to put some glue under there. Pop that leaf in there. Make sure that it's you know, inside the card base there. And then I'm going to put some glue there for the second leaf there. And that one's a little bit, needs to go up a little bit. Otherwise that piece might, you know, get... This one, I can put some glue back in under there, hold that one in place, and then this one, I think I'm going to cut that off a little, and pop that up in there. So, some glue on that one and put that up in there. That's it. So now, so there we have our cone flowers and our leaves on our lattice. And it looks presentable on the back. If you wanted to, you could put like a solid piece of cardstock across there as well. If whatever you're decorating with, you know, doesn't look so great from the back. You could fill that in. And perhaps you could even fill it in with a different coloured um, paper. So, say for example, we could use the vellum behind there like so. And that would give it another different look as well. So if you wanted to do that, you could. Or as I said, you could use pattern paper or you could use the plain white cardstock or whatever cardstock you're using to do your... Now, um, a sentiment. Um, I'm going to get my sentiment bag or box and see what I've got in here. I've got all sorts of... They're all die-cut ones. No, they're not. Um, I've got these stamped and heat embossed. They're not very good. Um, I've got these um, printed ones. Oh. I like the gold on there. Do like uh, cut this I'm not very good at cutting straight with scissors so this could end up looking like anything to be honest I could just pop that in there like that I think that looks quite nice. What do you reckon? What do you think of that? Um, I want something that's not too long. Well, I think I'm pretty happy with that anyway. We've got some something like this in black. Trim that down, we could put that there. Maybe, maybe that. Yeah, I think I will. Change of mind there. Once again, I probably should do this with my trimmer because it's 
bound to be crooked cutting it with scissors normally I would ink around this before I attach it but I like the fact that it just blends in with the background there so I'm not going to ink around it I'm just going to attach it as it is just going to do that with some glue And it's only on paper. I printed this. I print. I just print out a whole heap of sentiments on my computer, and um, then I've got them ready when I want them. So there we go. Now, pull this back. That out the way. So now I'm going to use my Wink of Stella. I've got a gold one, so I think I might use that. It's a uniquely creative one. Give it a good shape because I haven't used it in forever. Oh, it looks very gold, doesn't it? So let's add some of that. Doesn't look like it likes getting onto the vellum very much, does it? Still, I think it's going to be enough just to add a bit of a highlight. I mean, I could um, could get some acrylic paint and paint it. Paint these centres. So hopefully, or what I could do is, I've got some like stickles or whatever they're called, pops of colour or whatever. But I don't know that I want to make it too stark. This might be just enough actually, just to highlight those cones on the cone flower. What do you think? I think that's enough. I think that's just enough actually. I might give it another coat when it's dry. Just to help build up a bit of that sparkle. So there we go, very pretty, a nice open card and it stands up on its own, it holds its own weight, there's no problems with that, but as I say, you probably wouldn't want to use anything less than the 300 GSM cardstock for that. Okay, so that's my card for today, I hope you've enjoyed the video. I saw this on, um, well I saw a similar one on Pinterest and I've just adapted it a little bit. Um, and yeah I'm very happy with it actually quite happy with it so now all I have to do is find someone uh, to give it to for a birthday I've got a sister that's having a birthday next week so perhaps she'll be the lucky recipient okay well thank you for joining me and um, if you're already a subscriber thank you very much and if you're not already a subscriber I'd love it if you would subscribe I am um, yeah that's it Okay, thanks for being here and I hope you can join me for my next video. Bye.